welcome back to my channel my name is Sharon Petty and you guys can call me Sharon as you can see by the title of this video um, I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful loose deep wave hair it's very long that's how long it is I don't think I, I honestly don't think you can see the length of it all because my camera obviously the lens is kind of like zoomed in but this hair that I'm reviewing is from iShow Beauty Hair Official Store on AliExpress and it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. The curls are effortless. Less maintenance. <laughs> yeah, the likes. I don't I don't like if you are like me and you have so much on your plate to do and you don't like maintaining curls, you should go for this hair. This company sent me um three bundles um two bundles of 24 inch one bundle of 22 inch and a 20 inch closure normal closure i just um kind of like customized it and i'll show you guys the process just skip if you want to see the process only the process is ahead but then i wanted to you guys to know about the hair before you even know what i did to it so it came in bundles and a closure i just made a wig which i filmed and it's also in here you can just wait until i'm done and then you can watch the video but before actually before we go ahead can you just subscribe to my channel and if you're returning thank you thank you thank you and thank you for 800 subbies i really appreciate that here is another so i have an eight percent discount with this company and if you use it you tend to get eight percent so yeah i will leave the the code in the description box it's is s p o i caps ssp8 that is my discount code that you can use it has no limit you can use it more than once like i think and you can also use it next week but i will confirm everything so you can purchase this hair as bundles and closure or you can purchase it as a wig or you can purchase it as an ear-to-ear -ear closure not a normal closure but if you feel like you want to save some coins because frontals obviously are a bit expensive you can buy this and then literally just um just customize it like how I'm going to show you in this video. Um, also, this hair only took less than seven working days to get in, to get to South Africa, and it was via Aramex. So, if you want this week before month end November, it's best that you order it now. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So, guys, this is the hair that I received. Shout out to Aisha Beauty Hair. Thank you so much for sending me this bundles and closure. They were so, so beautiful. Um, I tried to show you guys the curl pattern because I wanted you to see how beautiful and gorgeous these things are. But I ended up just taking a flat lay so that you guys can see it properly. So the hair didn't have any smell or any weird... Um, scent coming from it and it, the bundles were quite full and i decided to make a wig because you know so ins are like no longer the in thing and i just used a normal not, not a spandex cap this is a normal wig cap the lace cap i prefer this because they're very very breathable and i just secured my closure with pins so that i can know what i'm doing and so that it doesn't move from where i want it to and this closure is a 20 inch and it's a free part closure meaning that there are no lines that came with it i literally made the line myself and i'll show you everything in this video so the thread that i use to make wigs is the upholstery um, thread i think you can find it anyway in um, fabric stores and i'm also using this curled needles they make me work actually very very fast what i do is i put like 10 to 15 of them and i make them ready before i start making a wig so that when i'm working i just take one and work through until i'm done so 15 of them or 10 if they're long enough can get me through the wig in less than 30 minutes Once that is done, I'm just going to tie um, where I cut and make a double knot so that it doesn't get loose. And I'm just showing you guys how I'm going to put the weft and I'm going to double the tracks and just go through the entire week until I get to the top and join them with a the closure. As you can see, I always use pins to secure my wefts or anything that I'm going to sew down. This helps me actually to 
have them in line and align. This again helps that you shouldn't be touching the weft the entire time. Once that weft is secured, all you do is just sew. You'll see as I go through the wefts that I never touch the weft. Once it's pinned down, all I do is focus on the threading and it actually helps me to be quicker. And I'm going to go through the weft when I start and throughout the lines I'm just going to be going um, outside the weft. I won't even go through if you go through it many times it ends up having a hole and that hole is what causes more of the shedding so once that thing that that hair is loose it falls off eventually and a lot that's why you get a lot of shedding from nowhere and you feel like your hair has a problem but the weft is loose and then the hair is falling off from it also i won't be cutting the weft uh, i'm just going to do the fold over method you can see it as i reach towards the end the side ends i just turn the weft and then continue with it if you cut it too much then also that can cause shading because once the weft is not um, secured at the ends that when you comb out the hair you're just going to be releasing that hair from the strands from the weft itself if that makes sense i hope it does <laughs> There's not much explaining that I feel like um, needs to be done to this video. It's actually self-explanatory. I will just play some music and you guys can enjoy watching. If you want me to do a detailed like from the beginning until the end of how I join the closures, how I cut the, the extra lace, then you can just leave a comment below and I'll do it for you guys. But I tried to make this as clear as possible so that you can see what I'm doing and how I do it. This is how the curls looked after I was done and I didn't really, really like the pattern. I felt like everything was just going in different and opposite directions. So I decided um, let me wash the hair and this is how amazing it looked after I washed it. I just shampooed it with Tresemme products. I do have a video on my channel on how I wash curly hair. I washed it. I didn't brush or anything. There was no shading at all. I washed it off and I let it air dry and this is how it looked. 
my closure is three parts there is no line that came with it and i didn't like that it was too abnormal if i may say so i decided to tweeze it up and i'm gonna tweeze it with you guys this is just a spray water bottle from crazy store i usually get mine there if the nozzle is no longer spraying properly and all you're going to need is a comb and um, a tweezer and yes i did bleach the knots i wanted um, the scalp the the lace to look a bit like my scalp my scalp is a bit brown so i did bleach the knots if you want to see a detailed video of that please leave um, a comment below and this is how i just tweeze the the closure i don't do too much what i know is if i want to quickly do something with customizing i always remove the first line of the closure just remove not all of it you can do just two hairs and skip two hairs and skip it makes the frontal the closure look natural and a little more natural and with closures as you can see on the sides i don't tweeze it at all i usually take that hair off just so that I, it can cover that the wig cap when i wear it so i don't tweeze or do anything on the sides i just start um, picking up and plugging the hair somewhere in the middle so that it looks more natural there Another tip is that you don't want to focus too much on one area when you're plugging or customizing. If you focus on one area for a long time, the next thing you're going to see is that that wig cap, that frontal is going to be bald. You're going to have so many empty spaces. What you want to do is you want to plug a few spots and then comb out the hair so that you can see the difference. Sometimes you won't see the difference until you comb out the hair and you will literally see how much you've lost while you're plugging. Now that I have done the first two lines of the closure, I will open a line so that I don't over, over plug that section. I'm going to open a line and then start plugging from the second or fourth line of the closure. You will actually see that when I pick up the hair, bald spots look like <laughs> they're happening. But in actual fact, I can see where I should stop. So I'm going to comb again everything backwards so I can see how much hair I've lost. In total, this is the hair that I removed from this closure. I didn't want a middle part. I wanted something like a side part so that it looks like a frontal. You can still do a middle part, but I, I don't want to do baby hairs on this video. I'll do baby hairs on another video. I wanted to do something like a side part that looks like my hair and this is what I came up with. And that's about it I'm just going to cut the lace closure the extra the excess lace that comes with the closure I'm just going to cut it straight normally for frontals I don't advise that you cut them straight but for closures and that I have twisted and plugged it you can cut it straight to avoid any mess and this is how the lace looks like now I love it 
and then I'm just going to put an extra powder onto that line that I created just so it's more defined and you guys can see it on camera I can see it because I plucked the hair but on camera I felt like it was not as defined and sharp as I wanted to I don't want to put this on my on my on my makeup. So I'm going to plate my hair and then I won't have this problem <laughs> because right now I have hair underneath but I love it anyways guys this is the end of the video and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe so I sometimes use this to um, to hold the curls together if I define them more but any finishing spray works but right now I don't want to put too much product because curly hair if you put too much product it looks funny and I don't want to look funny <laughs>